Let's expose some Brit. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this week I wanted to do something a little bit different with exposing as much brick as I am. And I wanted to share some tips on how to expose brick. If you want to expose brick, one of your future projects, this would help you do so. And I just want to make sure that I point out that proper safety gear are very important. So having some um, safety glasses, a mask because of how much dirt, these two things are very important. So one of my biggest tips for you guys would be to get the right gear. This right here is a Bosch hammer tool and it's called the Bulldog. I think that this is probably one of the best things that I could recommend. I think that investing in one of these tools, whether that's renting it or going out and buy it would be a huge time saver. When you do get this tool, make sure to get the large mason bit and the way that it's designed is also helping you to take off the plaster off the brick a lot easier. Holding so that this is parallel with the wall for the most part is really important. Not actually digging into the wall will help you to take that plaster off. Um, if you're doing an accent wall and it's the one thing that you're going to expose, you're going to want to be really careful. Just trying to make sure that there's no chips or dings or anything like that so it looks nice and perfect. I'm trying to do the best that I can and not have that happen. And I'm, I've learned a lot and that's why I want to share it with you. And later on, I'll make sure to throw up a, a how-to on how we're cleaning it up and making it look presentable and then sealing it in the future. You don't have this part already exposed or knowing that you have about half an inch to an inch worth of plaster that you're gonna to have to get to. So you can see that I've kind of just barely opened that up to where you can see that brick. I haven't chipped the brick. That's why I think these are really awesome. And that a lot of people are like, you need to use a chisel and the hammer. You don't need to do that. You can use a good tool and get the same result and not damage the brick. Well, now that we kind of have that brick right there, trying to get to that, that running as smooth as we can against it. Now we can kind of work it down and up a little bit. I think that going at a nice diagonal in order to not hit straight on with the brick at where it meets up or down is kind of a nice um, way to try to avoid chipping and knocking the stuff off the brick. This first part is the hardest part and most likely where you're gonna make a mistake using this. So if you really don't want to have any mistakes at all, just be really gentle. I'm gonna work for just a minute. I'm gonna get kind of an area cleared out to where I can then show you a few tips to make things a little bit faster. about how I like to start to work to make it faster. Um, I'm gonna be able to show you what I mean on these next couple tips. Okay guys, so right here, I'm kind of explaining that all you need to do is kind of work the edges. You have a big space now that we've exposed a little bit of the brick and you're going to be able to work along the edge and really allow the percussion to more or less create um, some small gaps so that once there's a gap created, you can actually keep pushing through and that's when the small chunks or the big chunks will start to come off. And so, as I work along the edge right here, you'll see that I'm just allowing the tool to percussion along and you can see small little chunks breaking off. That's what we want so that the, the brick is not being damaged at all. Um, as I work along the edge right here, you can see that I can't really get in in certain places, so I just keep working up and trying to create those gaps from occurring. Um, right about there, we're starting to allow some space to actually occur, and you can see right here that I actually get underneath. And I kind of point out right here that this is uh, more or less what we want to occur, is that these larger chunks are gonna be falling off, and that we're gonna be able to um, have a cleaner brick exposed with less damage. And so, 
right here I'm going to work right along the edge back to kind of where we started and now that we have created that that's going to actually allow um, larger gaps to be created and right here you can see bigger chunks actually falling off with a large chunk right there um, that large chunk is kind of what we're trying to get to happen more often now that I've shown you guys a few tips and tricks I'm gonna work for a little bit and you can watch me work the edges try to find the gaps My last pro tip, if you will, is to let the tool do the work. That will allow the percussion or that back and forth movement to occur better than if you're sitting there putting weight on it. That Most of it looks really, really good. The chips that are coming off are, in my opinion, more or less adding character. Here, it looks like I dug into here a little bit. And over here, there's a little bit of damage. And again, on the corners, you can kind of see some of that poking through. But you have to remember that this is all dirty and that's clean brick. But once I kind of go through and polish this up on a different video that I'll show you, it's going to be kind of hard to tell overall the time saved by using the tool versus the time that it would take you to be more careful and you're more most likely going to have some damage still occur is going to not outweigh the cost of using that awesome, awesome tool right there. The Bosch Bulldog will be a huge game changer in how fast you get your project done. If you need to go and rent one, to buy one, it's worth your time if you're doing a larger project like this. It will take you a lot longer if you go out and just use your hammer and that chisel. Do a little bit of time lapse that I can show you and see how nice the brick comes off and how good it looks after we're done. 